Hey y'all, Yaritza here. Today we are going to unbox the September Witch Casket. I am super excited. Um, this apparently has like the most items in it in Witch Casket ever, I guess. Um, if I'm remembering right from their Instagram post about it. So enough about that. <laughs> Let's get straight to it. Let's see, so. That was awkward. Um, this is the view we get opening the box. I like this blue color I'm seeing. So we've got letter and spoiler sheet. It says, September's Witch Casket is all about meditation and mindfulness. We hope the contents of this month's casket will help you to take the time to rid yourself of stress and anxiety and connect with your inner self. Please remember to read the enclosed list of contents, blah, 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 all the normal stuff. So let's get into it. Looks like there is a print on top by T Cake Art, as usual. Let's see, Blue Lotus. I really like that blue color. Super cool. All right, um, and then it looks like a little witch casket sticker. Cool, I do love the stickers. Got a little pouch of something. Anti-anxiety charm bag kit. Contains lemongrass, fennel seeds, moonstone, and charm bag. Cool. So let's take a peek. All right, so we've got the charm bag. Um, this must be, what was it, Moonstone? Yeah, this has got to be the Moonstone in its own little baggie. Cats are starting to come out. <laughs> they can hear all the things being opened. Cool, so very little. And I assume this is the lemongrass, which there's a lot of, as you can see. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Cool. This must be the instructions. We'll take a look at that in a second. And then the fennel seeds. Also a lot. Definitely gonna like fill this pouch to the brim. Yeah, that's it. So let's see. Um, got the instructions here. This charm bag is best created when you are feeling calm and at peace, since the energy you put into it is all important. Blend the fennel seeds and lemongrass together, focusing your intention to create a calming blend to ease anxiety and decrease stress. Sit for a while with the moonstone in your hand, feel yourself at peace, and give thanks for the calming energy contained in the stone. Add the magical herb blend and the moonstone to the pouch and tie firmly closed. Keep this with you in times of anxiety and feel its magical calming properties. Cool. Very exciting. I'm going to put all that stuff back in here so I don't lose track of it. I don't always do these spells right away. So I have like a whole <laughs> drawer full of the ones that I haven't done yet. So that, that'll find its way there in a moment. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, it says, looks like a pad of paper. Yeah. So a little notepad. It says, I release myself from, and then it's got this space to write in. It's all, it looks like it's all the same. There's quite a few pages of it. Um, yeah, and they all just have that same, I release myself from. So that'll be um, interesting, different. I, um, I usually burn paper with stuff like this. I'm wondering how the ink is gonna like all the heavy black ink and stuff is gonna affect that. So we'll see how that goes. Ooh, we have our pin for the month and it looks super, super pretty. Oh my God, I love that. Just got like that traditional back. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I'm so excited for that. Um, something on a stick here. Uh, let's see, loose leaf tea infuser. Oh, awesome. I have an infuser, but it's, it's really tall, I guess, is the best way to describe it. So it doesn't 
fit in all of my mugs very well. So I'm super excited about this. Yeah, so it's just a little heart-shaped tea infuser. Just flop it in there. Ooh. It does not want to close correctly. Awesome. I'm super excited about this. I've been, oh, and there's a little heart here too. A couple of them up towards the top. Awesome. I've been planning on getting myself a more like spoon-like one like this. So now I don't have to. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Got a bag of something. Some kind of stone. Let's see. Black obsidian. This beautiful black stone can help you to release negative emotions such as resentment, jealousy, guilt, fear, and anger, and is a stone of spiritual harmony. Black obsidian is a powerful psychic cleanser that also works as a shield against negative energy. Awesome. So, a little info card with that. Beautiful little stone. Very shiny. Awesome, awesome. Both of my cats are like right up in my face right now. Just so you know. They very, very much want in. Um, okay, a little bracelet. I'm intrigued by the card. No, no cat. <laughs> no. Um, so we've got this bracelet, looks like a chakra bracelet based on the coloring there. Yeah. But then it says essential oil diffusing chakra bracelet. So I don't normally wear beaded bracelets, although I do like, this is really pretty. This is a lot closer to my style. Um, yeah, it's just. Look at that. Um, I'm gonna pop it on real quick, but um, add your chosen essential oil to the black beads to carry its magical properties with you. Um, I mean, that's pretty cool. I have so many oils from all my subscription boxes that there's no way I can get through them all like with normal usage. <laughs> Um, so this could be a cool other way to use it. And God, the stones on here are just, I wish my camera was picking it up better. Yeah, no luck. But they're all really gorgeous. And I'm super excited about them. My cats are very excited about the box also. So cool, I'm gonna, I think I might wear this today and try it out with some oil. Uh, Got some packing peanuts, um, some string and a card. Let's find out what it's about. If I can get it out. Um, yeah, some kind of, can you hear that? Um, not magic. As you think of or meditate on what spell you'd like to cast, firmly tie knots in the string as shown over leaf. So long as those knots stay firmly tied, your spell is alive. To break the spell, untie the knots. Note, you can also tie other job objects or ribbons into your knots to represent your intent, though this is not essential. Your intent is the most important thing to weave into your knots. Um, not one, the spell's begun. Not two, it will be true. Not three, it shall be. Not four, it is lore. Not five, the magic's alive. Not six, the spell is fixed. Not seven, chance all eleven. Not eight, my will is fate. Not nine, it's sealed in twine. Pretty common, not magic. Spell a little bit different wording than I'm used to. Um, but yeah, that'll be cool. I'm wondering what material this is made out of. It seems like plant-based, which is cool. So... Um, that's neat, nice and simple. And then feels like candles. Yeah, blue ritual candles, meditation, healing, peace, well-being, wisdom, truth, and harmony. Well, let's take a peek, shall we? I was kind of hoping they were gonna be the same blue color as <laughs> the rest of the blue in here, but this is a really nice royal blue. 
color pillar candles which is neat usually witch casket sends like sh like tiny little candles which is cool because they burn a lot faster Ooh, I'm hitting myself in the face um, but I do like having some tall pillar candles a little more tapered at the bottom so that they'll actually fit into stuff so that's cool awesome Yay, candles definitely fitting with the theme Let's see so many things um, this is probably our tea I'm assuming I can't read that uh, blue sapphire loose leaf tea black tea from Kenya's Nandi Highlands and cornflower petals from Albania Tirana area steep time four to seven minutes um, I, well, let's see. these bags are cool because they're like recyclable but they also don't like once it's open they don't really seal back up oh well it smells really nice It's such a dark bag, yeah, you're not gonna be able to see in that. I mean, it's just tea. <laughs> Nothing special as far as looks, I guess. Um, it smells pretty nice, though. Awesome, I'm excited to try that with my new steeping spoon. Um, let's see, Angel's Touch Incense Cones. open this up without messing up the box probably not mm, maybe kitten no <laughs> please don't eat the things okay. got a little baggie of incense tones smells really nice definitely like a calming scent and then it looks like it has a little cone burner yeah just a little thingy to put it on awesome um, I used to prefer stick incense over all other kinds of incense but I'm just tired of the ash getting everywhere, honestly. So I've grown a lot more partial to, <laughs> to cone incense. So cool. I like that. Let's see, got just a couple more things. Yeah, just a few more. Um, so as always, this is gonna tear when I try to open it. Because of the sticker, yep. Every single time this happens. Um see five simple ways to meditate every day it's got a lot of info there I'm not gonna read all of that out loud but the five different ways it lists are breathing dancing gazing slow pace and standing so cool um, I keep telling myself I need to start meditating again and I don't so maybe I'll <laughs> try some of those um, and then ooh, Oh, okay. I thought, I thought maybe this leaked because of that, but I think it's maybe part of the pattern. At least it doesn't, I don't feel anything on it and it's on like both sides of this. So let's see. Um, ancient wisdom roll on blend. Don't worry. Bergamot, geranium, frankincense. Um, cool. So it looks like, yeah, just, um, oil oh, it smells pretty good yeah just a little like roll on which I do like I only have one other roll on blend and if I like it's nice to not have to get it all over my fingers or like accidentally put too much out yeah it smells really good cool yeah I'm definitely gonna use this a lot um, it's pretty I mean it's a decent size for sure especially since the roll on kind of portion controls it for you that'll last a while sweet and so I think it's just the one yeah so then this little mug says fueled by magic and meditation um, got a little packing peanut in it um, yeah 
there's yeah, some kind of blemish in there. I don't really care. Um, it's kind of cute. Um, I with mugs personally, I prefer the design of it to be like not opposite the handle like this one is. I like it when it's just faces me so that I can see it when I drink, but even if it faces out, I could just drink it with my other hand or like let, you know, have it front facing so that other people can see it. But this is kind of a, I'm not, I don't know. I would rather have this printed on one of these sides than just kind of out that way. It also, I'm a little bit worried because it's, it's obviously not ceramic, it's some kind of like metal-y thing, which means it's, if I put like hot tea in it, it's gonna probably get super hot. Um, even with this little handle, um, I, I don't know. I like, I like mugs that I can like wrap my hands around and get like the warmth in my belly and then in my hands and just like sit outside and be like, hmm. I'm warm so with this I'll probably <laughs> burn my hands off and drop it and spill it all over myself um, only time will tell but yeah just based on the material um, I'm not really sure if I will be making much use of it um, yeah this is probably one of the ones that like if if you like this mug and if you're not bothered by that type of material for it um, I, I would be willing to part with this, I think. Otherwise, I'll just donate it, probably, um, or give it to a friend in real life. So this this little guy's up for grabs, but um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to do a quick rerun through of everything, but I've been having less, a little less stressful, but I don't know, the Virgo rising in me, I'm, I feel like I'm always stressed out. So this is an awesome, awesome box. And Honestly, this is the only thing that I am like, yeah, I don't want this. <laughs> um, so that's with just looking at all the other things, it's, it's pretty good. Um, cool. So yeah, I'm going to give this like box like a, a nine out of 10, I guess. Um, so we have this mug that can be yours. Um, some tips on different types of meditation. Uh, not magic spell and what seems to be some kind of plant-based uh, string rope whatever to perform it with some beautiful blue pillar candles for calming anxiety reducing type of stuff black obsidian which is one of my favorite stones I don't think I mentioned that but black obsidian and onyx really anything black just love it um, this great smelling uh, don't worry roll on in um, incense oil that I'm definitely going to be using, um, some blue sapphire loose leaf tea, and a new steeping spoon that I'm very excited to make use of. Gorgeous pin that I can't wait to put on my jacket. Um, this pad that I'll use, maybe not a whole lot, I don't know, there's like a lot, a lot of paper here. Um, <laughs> and I don't, I don't know, we'll see. That one I'm not as excited about as the other stuff, but it'll still be cool to, to try it out. Um, the Angel's Touch incense that smells really good. This sticker that I'm excited to put on a journal or something. This lovely blue lotus print from Tea Cake Art. Um, welcome letter. The uh, anti-anxiety charm bag that I could definitely make use of. And this oil diffusing chakra bracelet that I'm gonna try out for work today protect me from the madness we'll see how it goes so that's it thank you so much for being here as usual I love you guys so so much as if I don't stress that enough I don't think I can stress it enough you guys are seriously the best um yeah that's it for this month's boxes I have some kickstarter decks on the way soon hopefully so I'll have some more of those videos for you guys um I should have October's printables up soon. Keep an eye on my Instagram or the blog for that. That's bujowitchcraft.com or at bujowitchcraft on Instagram. Um, and then there's a new box that I don't even remember how I found out about it. I want to say Instagram, but it's called like 
the witchcraft way or something um, that I uh, they're shipping out the first box on November 1st and I subscribed to it already because it looks super cool so we'll have a new box next month to take a look at together super super excited for that if you want to see it make sure you subscribe and like and do all the things or don't as usual it's cool I uh, won't hold it against you um, yeah that's it <laughs> my 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 kitten's right here I think she wants to say goodbye so um, yeah that's it I love you guys so much I mean it <laughs>